In today's video, just in time for the Halloween season, we are going to be taking a look at one of the most highly underrated Star Wars horror books. Yeah, you heard me. A Star Wars horror novel. Right here, right now, coming at you. Hello to all of my Star Wars zombies. Dante D here and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. Yes, you heard me right. There is a Star Wars horror novel. If that doesn't show you that you can literally do anything with the Star Wars universe, I don't know what can. The novel we're going to be talking about, of course, is Death Troopers by Joe Schreiber. Now, Death Troopers is a book that, uh, in my opinion, is probably one of the most underrated Star Wars books. Uh, I think this one kind of gets passed aside quite a bit is because it doesn't really kind of fit into the whole picture of the overall continuity of the Star Wars universe, but just because it's not like a necessary installment does not mean that it is not worth your attention. It is definitely worth your attention. It is one heck of a read. Now, Death Troopers came out in 2008, 2009, probably around the time when uh, zombies were really front and center in the pop cultural zeitgeist, especially with The Walking Dead. Everyone was doing zombies back then. You probably all remember when uh, zombies were all the craze and to a certain extent I think zombies still are the craze today. Now there were a lot of um, really kind of pathetic attempts to incorporate zombies into some really long loved franchises but a lot of times those were failures. This is definitely not a failure. I really think that uh, the horror genre and the whole zombie subgenre of horror was integrated into the Star Wars universe absolutely perfectly. So this novel takes place only a few years before the Battle of Yavin and our setting is a prison barge called the Purge. This prison barge is on its way to a prison colony to drop off a bunch of prisoners. And what happens? Well, while they are en route, their thrusters break and uh, they can't make any jumps to hyperspace and they barely have enough power to even continue on their voyage. So what they do is they find a star destroyer that just happens to be floating through space and to the naked eye it seems to be in perfect working condition. So the commanders of the ship decide that the best idea would be to board the ship and start salvaging some parts so they could fix the thrusters on the prison barge. Eventually what happens is a squad of Imperial troops boards the barge and they get the parts that they need but when they come back they all become deathly ill and this illness spreads like wildfire aboard the prison barge and that's where things really start to get weird and I really would encourage you to check out to see what happens. Of course you know the virus is likely going to be the zombie virus uh, that infects everybody. So everybody basically dies and then they come back and they come back as zombies, which is cool. But it's not that cut and dry. Uh, there are some people on, on aboard the ship that have natural immunity. They eventually find a cure for it, but by then it's it's too late. It's, it's just wonderful. I really encourage you to check this novel out. Now if you're one of those Star Wars fans that just absolutely has to have a key Star Wars character in your Star Wars novels, well do not be afraid. This novel is not full of characters that are completely unknown. There is a major Star Wars character that makes an appearance in this novel and actually plays a huge role in the plot, but I won't give that away. I will let you go and check out and find out who that character is. When this character showed up I was like yes. I, I honestly think that Joe Schreiber could not have picked a better character to incorporate into this novel. The plot in this novel was very well developed, albeit a little bit predictable because I kind of knew where they were going by the end, but it did not ruin my enjoyment of the novel whatsoever. Also I felt that the characters were very well developed. I felt the character voices really speaking to me. Joe Schreiber is definitely a great character writer. Above all, the thing that most impressed me about this novel was Joe Schreiber's amazing ability to effectively marry these two genres, science fiction and horror. Uh, I know a lot of people would think 
if you would ask anybody really, hey, what do you think about zombies in Star Wars? They'd be like, oh, please, come on, seriously. And that is originally what uh, what I thought too. But uh, when I gave it a try, uh, I, I was absolutely blown blown away. The and, and it really didn't feel forced, you know? You would think that a novel, especially a Star Wars novel, that is incorporating horror elements to it, like they would really have to um, grasp at straws and really kind of force uh, that genre quite a bit to, to, to just make the story, but I don't feel that was happening at all. It was just really, really well done, and I felt that it was plausible and believable in the Star Wars universe. Joe Schreiber wrote another Star Wars horror novel called Red Harvest. Have not read that one yet, but once I, I get my hands on it, I definitely will be checking it out because uh, I am I now have this new appreciation for Star Wars horror novels. And there aren't many of them out there, but uh, now that I know there's another one out there, I'm going to have to go and check it out. I have heard that Death Troopers is the better uh, of the two Star Wars horror novels, but uh, you know, I really like Joe Schreiber's writing style and I think I will not be disappointed in Red Harvest either. My overall grade for this novel is a solid A. Bonus points for effectively marrying the horror and sci-fi fantasy genres so well. Again, the end was a little predictable, but it definitely did not spoil the plot for me. This this book was definitely a nail biter for me, entertaining from beginning to end, and I definitely recommend that you check it out. If you're looking to pick up Death Troopers today, the link is in the description. If you pick it up, you will not be disappointed. So I'd love to hear from you all in the comments. Have you read Death Troopers? Tell me what you thought of it. Uh, if you haven't read it, do you plan to pick it up? And let me know what other Star Wars books that uh, you really enjoyed reading. Always love having conversations with you in the comments. Until next time, this is Dante D signing off. I will see you all in the next episode.